Hey guys and gals, Jim back here. This is uh, part two of uh, my uh, Klingon Katinga with all the paintwork and everything done on it. So uh, we'll start out uh, on top in the front and uh, work our way around it and show you what I what I did, how I uh, painted mine. Um, that's the that's the head of the bulb, the bulb head, whatever the the, the, the big soup ladle. But um, you can see I pretty much uh, went over everything. The raised surfaces, like I showed you in the previous video, some of the uh, photos of the studio model, with the uh, with the lighter shade of green, and all that, and uh, it does pop a little bit more on camera than it does with the naked eye. But and um, in, in person, it's a real nice subtle difference. You can pick out out all that raised surface and all that, and uh, same with the underside. We'll get to that when I flip her over. Um, it's not mounted on a base right now because I found it be easier to do this video now. And then eventually, once I get my base finished up in the next few days, then I'll do a video with a um, little bit lower light conditions and uh, the light shut off. Um, also, I'm going to point out the decals they give you for the uh, window areas here and then up on the top. They um, the kit they're they're like a light gray color. They should actually be um, like almost a, a dark gray to black. I use the NATO black for them. I masked them off and uh, individually sprayed them and everything. Also, for my windows, being I didn't use the clear uh, parts that came with the kit, I um, I filled in all my windows with uh, crystal clear, and it really helps to draw the light to them, where it looks almost like you'd have fiber optics and you don't really see the um, hot spots from the bulbs. It uh, it almost uh, it, it almost draws the light to them and stuff. So um, I went that route, and the. Uh, on the head and uh, there you can kind of see the, the top of it a little bit they're so small as uh, stripes in there but you can kind of pick them out there now on the top of the head I noticed uh, in the in the photos that there were some darker panels on each side of the head and that's what I did there I went with a shade lighter than I used for my main color um, I call them all the feather the feathering work effects and stuff they also uh, on the studio model there are uh, a couple areas here that are, that are darker green and also on the sides and I found a couple pictures on another website which I couldn't download but they also had another lighter uh, strip right next to that dark green that uh, that uh, the lighter one right there almost the same color as the light mauve and stuff so but um, those are my two different shades of the mauve the darker and the lighter and stuff and uh, it's got that real nice in person you can see pick out that real nice rosy effect to it and all that so and I also also did the same and the uh, on the bulkhead use the same couple two colors of that that my mauve and all that got all that done done painted and uh, there you can see underneath right underneath that red uh, red black thing there's a, a panel that's a little bit lighter blue and then again underneath kind of like what I was showing you on those photos with the studio mo model. I did very little, just real subtle weathering with some black pastel chalk just to give it, give it a little bit of a, a used, you know, look and stuff and that. So um, that's what I went with on there. And uh, lighting's not that good, but I like to do everything with the natural room light and everything. But everything, that's the darker gray hair and that, that's my darker mauve. And then the lighter panels are my lighter mix. I pretty much just cut the darker color down by about close to a half to come up with the different contrasting colors and stuff. And um, picked out the detail that was supposed to be painted the red and the green. And there you can kind of pick out the light blue colors a little bit better on that one and stuff. And I did the same with these windows. I uh, filled everything in with the crystal clear and all that. And um, the light really, it really, it really draws the light to it and makes it uh, stand out real nice. And I, the only place I put extra LEDs was in the head um, because it wasn't getting to the side windows as much as I wanted it to. And it wasn't getting it to these unless you turned it. It's almost like a chase light went around as you turned the model uh, to different positions and stuff. But there again, you can pick out the different uh, different shades of the green on there that I uh, used and everything and all and um, it's basically the same paintwork that I did when I showed it when I just had the greens laid down it's all the same paint colors that I used 
and that and um i just played around with them until i got the different tones that i wanted but uh really the model hasn't changed since then it's just at that point i didn't have the neck or the ball cut or anything like that uh picked out the uh top of the engines are the same thing one thing i'm going to point out they got this little arrow kind of deal right there in the center of that lighter color um, yeah, you pretty much got to measure out and mask off and everything because that's not like a really raised panel That's just something you got to do by on your own and again I just use my two, two different shades of the mauve and then the NATO black on the different areas with the grill work and stuff And then the same on the sides and on the front and all that and then the grill work and up here um, Like I said the studio album photos. They weren't showing none of this tan. They weren't showing none of these raised panels being tan it was all the, the mauve color, you know, the, the reddish gray, the rosy gray, whatever you want to call it. So um, that's pretty much what I went with and everything. Um, now my greens is basically the same like you saw it when I showed the box art laying on top of the model quite a few videos back. And uh, all I did when I was finished, I took my base color and I really thinned it out big time. And I just lightly missed it over, just real light mist coats until i got everything to blend you can still pick out the different shades but they're not as predominant uh as as they are on the box cover which i couldn't find any pictures that were that pre predominant where it actually looked like i i would call it a um a jigsaw puzzle or um where, where each each color stood out you know big time and, and and it was you know had a had a big degree of separation before the, between the colors and everything now on the sides of my nacelles, there's what I was talking about, that um, kind of like a steel blue, and not so much a blue blue. Um, and that's where I used my gunmetal that I lightened up for my um, nacelles on the refit, the outer, the outer, the, outer, the opposite side of the chiller grills. Um, those aren't, those weren't exactly a black color, they more, were more like a gunmetal, but a lighter shade, almost a grayish um, gunmetal. But, uh, so that's what I used to mix with the blue and uh, come up with that color like a blue steel color and then there's my um there's my uh weathering things where you know they're there you can basically see you can still see green popping through them a bit but it's not real predominantly like it was painted black and and, and just being the one color this is actually the solid donato black and everything but that's why i came up with that happy the way that uh, the greens came out and everything and all the back end is um, strictly just the NATO black. I did a little dr bit of dry bl brushing on, on these with, um, um, oh, I forget what color it was. It, it might have been, um, it might have been the lighter color that I used up there. That's again the mauve color for the shuttle, the shuttle bay. Um, I didn't do no window things here. I didn't do no window openings on the back. Um, no photo etch because if you if you watch the movies, they've never really had these areas lit. It's uh, it, it just there's windows there. Everybody knew there was windows there, but they were ne never lit. So I kind of went that route too. Um, the uh, rear thrusters, um, I got them filled with fiber fill to cut down uh, to keep from getting a hot spot. Um, they kind of look like that on a studio model. There were actually no there was actually no grid work or mesh or anything in those. It was they were just uh. They were just solid uh, panels in there that looked white and everything. And even with it lit up, you didn't see no kind of um, grid work, grill work, work in them. So um, I just went with that. These here uh, um, little vents, there's three of them on each side. I just kind of did those over with, the, uh, went over them, uh, dry brushed some, uh, some of my lighter shade of uh, the gunmetal on there in that to give them a little bit stand out and stuff. So that's where I got all that stuff from. And uh, we're going to take and, uh, oh, one more thing on the back of the head. You're going to see that gray area. That's another photo that I found of the studio model. I'm going to turn it around a little bit, try to get a little bit more light on it. That's another shot that I found on the website, other than the ones that Round 2 had posted, um, that had um, the top of this area back here where the, those rear windows are. Um, that was actually showing up a gray. I used the uh, darker mob for that and also um, Up on the back of the head. There's a lot of deal Detail that was that I picked out that was showing up in some of the photos too where this was uh, almost a white color and the same with those little areas right down in there so um, 
I kind of kind of went over those on the on the box art. That stuff wasn't really gone over, other than these grills and stuff. Um, this little raised bump over here, I, I used um, just the straight uh, iron out of the bottle. Um, actually, on a studio model, this panel that I got painted white that kind of steps over the back. There's actually a bunch of little pipe work that goes down on there, but I wasn't going to start scratch building. And, uh, it's a tiny area to start with, but it's, it just makes it uh, 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 pop out a little bit. Up along here, which you probably won't be able to pick out, um, I did pick out a couple panels I saw in the studio model that, that were a darker shade of green also. So um, It's not 100% accurate, but then too, there's really not an accurate paint job for this because, like I said, it was painted over so many times and dusted over with some kind of white powder that... Uh, the colors are, are changed from just about every shot that you see. Uh, every time they use it for filming, they uh, they did some paintwork, changed the paintwork or something. So, um, you know, any way you paint it, it's not really going to be right. It's not really going to be wrong. So I just went for this uh, this scheme because I thought it looked the best. And uh, it, it was, it was kind of real close to what it was originally painted before they start messing with everything and there again you could see my medium green color and then those are the lighter areas that I you know, when I missed it over it kind of blended everything together so really happy with all that the way it came out and everything um, I'm gonna flip it over now we'll go over the underside and um, all that and uh, we'll start again at the front and uh, there you can see the uh, the bottom side of the head of my two different shades. Now they don't show up as predominant in in in, in, in person as they do on here. Uh, for the front around the tor to uh, photon torpedo tube, I just did a little bit of weathering to look at you know give it some uh, uh, you know some some firing you know uh, grit and stuff. You know when they fire the torpedoes, it might leave some scorch marks and stuff. 